today I'm playing around with the recoil starter. This is off of the Kawasaki FS481V. Uh, the FSs, they're pretty much all the same, even the 541s. These run anywhere from 90 to 100 bucks. Quite expensive because the engine itself is, uh, they finally built a good motor, it doesn't break down. So they gotta make their money somewhere. Went ahead and replaced a few items. Um, if I got these names right, the ratchet or the dowel, this retainer plate here, and the spring underneath it. The spring I think was around six bucks, and I forget the cost of these other items. So those were good. Uh, went ahead and replaced those. This reel here was fine, and the main thing is the frame because they don't sell that separately. Uh, but the problem I'm having. Sometimes it's just better just buying a whole complete deal. But uh, when I start this, I don't put my foot on this because once you bend this frame part here, it rubs and it doesn't, it just doesn't work right. So you never want to put your feet on that. But the problem I'm having is where your rope goes, you can see all that wear. You can just see how it's not a circle anymore. And eventually it just, the pool just wears out. So sometimes you could get a screwdriver and just spin it, but then sometimes it also leaves ridges in there. But you're limited to to that. So that's what I'm kind of playing with today. I've been looking around online for a hollow boat. I didn't see anything. Come across banjo boats. Uh, hardware stores got a bunch of like hollow stuff, but I was thinking about grinding this away, taking this off. I also thought about putting a couple of washers on there and gluing that with epoxy or even possibly welding it. It's metal thin, so it's not going to take too well with a weld. You got to be careful with that. But uh, epoxy, I've had real good luck with epoxy being really strong and holding, holding amazingly. So I thought about doing that or finding some type of bolt, but then I would have to hollow out the bolt, smooth it out, and things like that. That's pro probably possibly a, a step as well. Uh, a little bit more work, but you know, it's got to be smooth or the rope itself is going to break again. Um, so this is what I come across so far. This is a fitting from uh, my water. It's just a spare one I had. I went ahead and drilled the inside out to, to a little bit, bit, a little bit bigger than the diameter of the rope. And the back plate part here that I'm going to tighten it on, I, I did that really big. So basically, I'm gonna grind this off like it's kind of like a rivet, and put it on like so. And then this would be in the back, nut tightening it, which is plenty of room. I'll play around with that and see. I don't know. Brass is kind of soft, so it may not may not last. I might have to go with a steel. And then if there wasn't enough room back here, or I wasn't able to find a nut, which this comes right with it. Uh, another option was this collar here. I was gonna put on there and um, tighten it like that, just you know, like so. But, uh, I gotta try to find some rope. I'm not having good luck with this rope from like the department stores. They break, they're not strong, so I'll have to probably go to the mower shop and buy the, the real stuff. And it's got to be a thick gauge as well. This is actually a little bit thicker than what came with this machine. So I'll give you an update. If that works, that'd be awesome. As long as the rest of this stuff is good, because this just wears out. And this this also works with other applications as well. Well, I'm not gonna say it's gonna work yet, but I'm having a feeling it might work. But I have to take this off because that's just. Uh, getting to the point where the rope is just snagging on this as well I don't know if you can see this view but you can see it's just about to break the case of the uh, the, the rope guide there well I've got it together I don't know if it's gonna work the, uh, the washer could be smaller that's all I have. Well, I have a lot of washers, but not the right size. So, string feels good. 
Okay, so I am finishing up my last yard for Friday. And it hasn't been quite the two weeks, but um, I have quite a bit of pools in this thing. I still got to get the right size washer, but it is holding up fine. It didn't uh, snug at all. I was kind of in a rush when I did this, but I've got another one I have to do. And this time I'll take a little bit more time uh, on the inside of it. We're gonna be able to see that there's like a little tiny lip in there where I didn't drill it good enough uh, If I was to get my Dremel and just Dremel it out a little bit but Yeah, you can kind of see it there uh, But I mean other than that, the ropes look still pretty good and I pull most of the time like this the uh, the brass itself is holding up good um, and this water fitting itself kind of has a little roundness to it which helps with the rope not get snagged as much um, so yeah I'm, I'm pleased that this thing is, uh, is is a work in progress for me so that'll save me anywhere from 90 to 100 bucks on a new one even though I've just got my new one in uh, now that would be a backup but uh, when I build my other one uh, I'll just kind of show it to you the, the, the quick steps that I did to, to do this so I'm pleased at this point um, so I got the actual real rope in there and that uh, seems to do a lot better okay anyways let me, uh, the mower's off now I'll give it a few cranks and you kind of see what's going on Deal, so I'm I'm happy. I haven't seen anyone else do this at this point. 